What's up, guys, and welcome back to EBFG TV. The Seattle Sounders are headed to the Western Conference Final after losing to FC Dallas 2-1, but winning on aggregate 4-2. Brian, what are your thoughts on tonight's match? I mean, it was what we needed. Maybe not necessarily what I would have wanted. Um, it, it wasn't convincing. Let's, we'll just put it that way. Um, but they did what they needed to do. I mean, essentially, all we had to do was not blow it horribly which we managed to do this time so you know progress um th this is distracting uh brian's dog has just come into the house a puppy at our feet yes <laughs> um but no i mean for an away game in the playoffs for the sounders that was pretty good i mean they got the job done and one thing that we've talked about the schmetzer sounders doing a lot in the last few months is just getting the job done getting the result yeah. they need and that's something they did tonight they got the away goal from uh nicolas ladero in the second half and that's all they needed to get through, and that's what they got. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty. It no. just has to just has to be effective. Yeah. And now we're headed to face the Colorado Rapids in the Western Conference Final. What do you think our chances are against a Rapids team that finished second in the Western Conference and has uh, Tim Howard g guarding the sticks? It's tough. I mean, you look at their their back line is very solid, mm -hmm. um, and obviously Timmy is Timmy. Um, and they they kind of murdered us in the regular season. I mean, the the score lines I don't think were that crazy, mm -hmm. but the the run of play, just everything. I mean, they they dismantled us twice essentially. Mm -hmm. um, but that was a different Sounders team. That was I think both games were before Ziggy yep. was gone. Yep. Um, we're a very different team now. I I would probably argue they're even a very different team now. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. I think we're definitely going to need. Maybe not as big a result as we had at home against Dallas, but we're going to need that sort of momentum going into Colorado if we have a shot, I think, of making the finals. It's definitely interesting for me because we host the first leg at CenturyLink Field n next Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday the 22nd, yeah. right before Thanksgiving. And then the second leg is in Denver four or five days later. Yeah, yeah. That, it's, 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 it's on that Sunday. So it's definitely going to be interesting to me to see how the team comes out. We have this big, long break in front of them. Um, it's a FIFA international break. I think we have Jordan Morris going off to the, uh, the U.S. men's national team. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the team uses this kind of break in between the, semi, the Western Conference semifinal and the Western Conference final uh, to determine what happens in that Western Conference final. Definitely. Um, and I think that's something that at least under Schmetzer so far, we've made good use of, um, whether it's a short break where the guys need to gather themselves together quickly or a long break where they can get the rest and kind of do what they need to do there. Um, they always seem to be prepared minus a couple matches here and there. But, um, you know, comparatively to us before, they, they seem to be very well prepared regardless of the amount of time that they have to do so. Jordan Morris picked up a slight knock and came out for halftime in this game. He he was called to the U.S. men's national team uh, for their game against Mexico next week. Do you think he'll be okay to start against Colorado with our limited knowledge of what happened? Um, we are filming this right after the game. With our limited knowledge of what happened, do you think he's going to be okay to start against the Rapids in leg one? I've got to think so. I mean, he's got some time to recover, and it didn't sound like anything too serious. It was more of a... Precautionary. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, no, I would think he'll be okay. Uh, he may not play the full 90, which is fine. Please don't knock the light off. Um, but, no, I mean, he, he did what he needed to do today and let the other guys come in. I thought Herc came in. I guess Herc wasn't the replacement for him. It was uh, Fisher, right? Mm -hmm. But Herc essentially replaced him eventually on the field of what he was doing, and I thought did that very well. Um, and I thought even Joven going up into that midfield spot was uh, was equally – good i suppose i mean he created a lot his his pace really gave the dallas backline trouble um which is something also jordan is very good at so um no i i i thought it was good that i'm sorry we're very distracted there we have dogs everywhere it's dogs wild around everywhere we're filming this live from brian's new house in tacoma so hey, there's a lot going on right now but um no i i think jordan will be ready and even if he can't play the whole game he'll be able to give his all for you know 45 60 minutes something like that First, I have to apologize because we completely forgot to do a match preview for the Dallas yeah, game for leg two of the FC Dallas series. But we do have to talk about something that was announced during the week. Brian Schmetzer is now the official head coach of the Seattle Sounders. What do you think of the club's decision to make that move in the middle of the postseason? What are your thoughts? I actually don't like that they did it in the middle of the postseason. Um, 
as I've, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Brit La 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 Girl, if you don't know who she is, tweeting, um, just out of a superstition thing, like, we've been doing so well with him as the interim coach, mm -hmm. I almost just wanted to leave him as that throughout the playoffs and then announce him as soon as the playoffs were done, mm -hmm. whether we win or, or don't win. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, you can't complain with him being made the head coach, for sure. I mean, he, he has proven that he deserved it, so... Um, while for very silly reasons I may not like the timing of it, it's the right thing to do. That's exactly my thoughts. I don't disagree with the move at all. I think it's it really is the right move, I believe, in, in, in what's best for the club going forward. I just really don't understand the timing of it to announce him as head coach in between... It's very strange. It does. In between not only the playoffs, but in between two legs. I mean, it's not like they introduced him after winning a series, after winning a knockout yeah. round game. They introduced him between leg one and leg two of the Western Conference semifinal, which I found a little bit strange. That's what I disagree with. It's not the move at all, because I think it's the right move for the club going forward, even though you've been a little vocal on how maybe we should wait it out and see what else happens. Well, I mean, up until now, I had, I had said during the past, um, you know, during the regular season match previews and whatnot, that if we made a deep and or convincing playoff run, that he should be the choice. We're doing that essentially now. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I think he is. But, um, it, yeah, it seemed vi the timing of it was very odd, and it almost felt like a hot take for a second. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I, I know I never give those, but... <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it seemed like a slightly desperate attempt to get people to come to the business meeting, mm -hmm. knowing that when they said we have a big announcement that everyone would assume that that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Um, and that seemed like the only reason for the timing of it, which is just real strange to me. I don't really get it, but, um, but if we keep winning, then we keep winning and I'm not going to complain about it. So. Brian Schmetzer is the new head man at the Sounders and the Sounders are headed to the Western Conference Final, something that hasn't happened since, I believe, 2014 when the Seattle Sounders won the Supporters' Shield. Let's just say it's very early. Of course, we are filming this right after the game against FC Dallas. Do you think we have a chance to win against Colorado and clinch a spot in that MLS Cup Final that we've been longing for since 2009? I do. I mean, absolutely I do. Um, these teams match up. It's a really interesting matchup, I think. Um, kind of similar styles, but different in the, the kind of the makeups their teams essentially um the play styles i think are very similar actually um at the very least it should be a really entertaining series but definitely we could win i'm not going to say that we absolutely will win mm -hmm. um but it's certainly a winnable series for the sounders yeah all right guys well i i personally too also think it's a very winnable series for the sounders i'm not going to book my plane tickets to either toronto or montreal quite yet well, wouldn't be Montreal. True. To Toronto or a home game in Montreal. Sorry. It's, there's just a lot going on right now. It's, I'm very happy. I'm very excited. We're in the Western Conference Final. Um, it's a very big day for the club. It's a very exciting day for the club, especially after being last place in the Western Conference just a few months ago. It seems wild that we're here in this spot right now. But that's all we have it. Uh, that's all we have here at EBFG TV. Thank you so much for watching our uh, little match review. Sorry again for not doing a match preview for leg two against FC Dallas. I was waiting for that. Yeah, we got some dancing going on behind us. Got some celebratory dancing. Celebratory dancing. Puppies are getting involved. <laughs> The Sounders. If I aim, oh no, we can see him. Are in the Western Conference Final. Dang, it feels. <laughs> I'll say it again. Dang, it feels good to be a Sounder. It feels Aaron! really good. Hey! 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 Who needs Torres when you've got? <laughs> Obviously, I am the most Romantorez. <laughs> Thanks for watching EPFG TV. Yeah. Like and subscribe for more videos. We will definitely have a match preview coming for leg one against the Colorado Rapids. The Seattle Sounders, once again, are headed to the Western Conference Final. We will see you all in about a week. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later.